guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me today we're back with more bluey which i am so excited to watch more with you guys we are watching season one episode 16 and 17 yoga ball and calypso which i don't know why we're dealing with any like goddesses but apparently that's what we're doing so i'm excited to learn what is happening with the bluey and bingo why they're dealing with calypso <laughs> but Keep in mind, guys, if you want to see my full reactions to these episodes or just see blue more bluey early, you can do that by checking out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Mom! <laughs> can you play games with us? No time for games, Squirt. I'm working from home today. No. One sec, I just got to pop downstairs. <laughs> it's a work day today. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. I found another one. <laughs> He's a good dad. Sorry, kids. I got loads of work on. Dude. I just can't play the elevator game. I love the way dad plays with the kids. It's so fun. Like, it's such a good, like, parenting idea to be like, no, I don't have time. Like, sorry. Boop. Like, oh, I'm so busy. Boop. Boop. <laughs> like, it's fun. Of course, there is a time and place where you need to be serious with your children and be like, I don't have the time right now, honey. Like, we'll play in a little bit. Like, totally fine. Not everything has to be a game or else your kid's not going to understand when you are actually being serious. But this is just fun goofiness that I enjoy in this moment. Oh, no. Are they going to kick it out from dad? <laughs> Oh. Hi. Well, at least you have your regular chair. Let the kids have it. It's not worth it. Oh, careful though. You're gonna break you something. little rats. <laughs> Why do you sit on a giant green ball? Because I wrecked my back changing your nappies. Mine, 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 mine. I want to turn doing that. <laughs> oh. Boing, 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 boing. Oh. Okay, now beat it. I've got to get to work. Ooh. Are you? Oh, please don't throw up. Don't throw up. <laughs> Louie. Okay. Oh, Ooh, I got so scared for a second. Murphy. I really think you should get there. It is. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just use your regular chair, dude. Can we play delivery chair? No. Oh, please. I love that everything's a oh, game. Don't use your please face. Oh, puppy dog oh, eyes. Oh, right. Yeah, bingo delivery chair! The please face gets me every time. Yeah. Now I need to get these two packages delivered. But first I need to stamp them. Stamp, stamp! Oh. Are you, what is happening with bingo? I'm getting concerned. Is baby okay? Have we given bingo shaken baby syndrome? Yes, Owen! <laughs> and here's the second baby. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Okay, delivery over. Now I've got to get back to work. Oh, come Can on. we check on Bingo? I am not feeling good. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, go! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That's a very fun game. Someone's gonna get hurt, and I think it's gonna be Bingo, though. Okay, no, game sweetie. over. I have to do some work. Walk it off, sport. Walk it off! Thanks, Dad. Are you okay? I'm gonna cry. What's wrong, honey? I'm getting, like, legitimately concerned right now. Like, what is going on with Bingo? Like, this is, like, tummy? Tummy hurt? I got scared, like, maybe Bingo's gonna throw up, but now I have no idea. I'm just, like... I'm like panicking. I feel like, I feel like, is this what like being a parent is like? Worrying about your child at all times? Cause that's what's happening right now. I'm concerned. Maternal instincts are kicking in. Uh... <laughs> hey, Bingo. Oh, oh, oh what's the here. matter? Daddy's playing too rough with me. Yeah, um... he does play too rough sometimes, doesn't he? Yes. Did you use your big girl bark? No, because I don't have a very good big girl bark. Really? Show me. 
Oh, that's all right. Just do it bigger. <laughs> bigger. Bingo just has something she'd like to tell Dad. That's all. Sometimes you play a bit too rough with me. Oh, Bingo, really? Oh, sorry, Buster. I didn't realise. We don't want you to stop playing with us. Yeah. Oh, OK. I'm just going to get better at using my Bingo bark. OK, well, let's practice. OK. Oh, Bingo is like the downfall of me. I crumble. I crumble, man. Oh, like, I'm just, I'm so, I'm a huge empathetic person. So just seeing, seeing Bingo like upset gets me scared and worried. And it's like, I don't know what's wrong. Like, tell me, communicate. Uh, so tell me, is this rough okay? Boing. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> okay, how about this rough? Boing. Yes, that's okay. Okay, what about this? Boing. <laughs> okay, oh. too rough. Oh. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. That was cute. Oh, look, you can see my little tears. If you asked me to guess what I thought, like, our little lesson or something would be in this episode that's titled Yoga Ball, I wouldn't have told you. It was going to be Bingo trying to use her big girl bark, which I think is so cute. It's such a good name for it. Just, you know, speaking up and telling people, like, hey, like, I don't like this. This isn't comfortable to me. You know, alerting people and using your voice is so important and it is for like a multitude of reasons uh mainly the, the number one one is safety like if something if you don't feel safe you need to speak up and that is so important because if you don't feel safe then you need to alert you know an adult or somebody else to let them know and i think they did a very good job of this and using the term big girl bark makes it much more fun a, a better term to use than just speak up and i think it's a lot easier for parents to take this term and be like remember you gotta be like bingo and use like your big girl bark like that's so much more fun to use as a parent and i think they did a very good job of uh showing this and i don't i don't know other like kid shows that have this portrayed as well Especially because of the fact that the uh, speaking up is directed at dad, like bandit, which I think is important because like, yes, they are your parent, what have you. But if your parent is making you feel uncomfortable or hurting you or causing you discomfort, like you do need to speak up because they should love and care about you and respect that. <laughs> and I think bandit handled it very well where he's like, okay, like, how is this? how is this? And then how is this? Like, you know, gauging where like Bingo's comfort level is. Cause you know, as Chili helped phrase it, like she doesn't want you to stop playing with her, but she just doesn't want you to play as roughly with her. Cause she is younger. Her body is just a little bit more, you know, fragile. So I think they did such a fabulous job. I wouldn't, <sighs> I certainly wouldn't mind them doing like the same episode again, but then doing it with like a stranger or somebody else. It gets a little bit weirder, a little more dicier, but I wouldn't mind that because I think it's easy for kids to get overwhelmed by a stranger. And I think having, you know, that episode would also be beneficial, but I think this one was good. Um, looking at it from like, you know, a adult perspective, I think having dad kind of be the one that is causing bingo to feel hurt or uncomfortable was a good you know aim for this because it is important and communication is a two-way street and dad did a very good job of communicating to bingo in a way that bingo would understand like i'm so sorry like you know i'm used to like bluey and i kind of i'm a bit more rough with bluey because she's older so understanding what where your comfortability is would help me because I'm just I'm I don't know. 
I feel like they did a very good back and forth job with that. So I really liked this episode and it made me cry. Like I was so scared. I didn't know what was wrong with Bingo and I was getting so worried. <laughs> so I'm glad that they like got it figured out and they're able to like go back and like have that relationship fixed again. I really appreciate it because it could have gone very differently. Had Chili not found Bingo, like Bingo would have just been under there and now Bingo may not want to play with dad as much and dad's not going to understand. And then, you know, this rift starts forming or, you know, Bingo's just going to keep letting it happen, which is unfortunate. So I, I like how this turned out. Chili did a great job of mediating and everything was really nice. So I liked it. Um, But we're going to be continuing on to the next episode. Sister Rain has left Ooh. and Father oh. Sun is home. Brother Wind comes blowing in to welcome home the gnome. Oh, is it nap time? Mm -hmm. I used to love nap time. We got like little carpets. I don't feel like playing anything. Okay. Calypso. Can I please oh. have a gnome from my village? Your well, let's have a look. Is Calypso. Okay. Well, the gnome will need a place to sleep, so... Okay! Mm -hmm. You busy, Bluey? No, not yet. This is a fish and chip shop, but we've run out of fish, so oh. it's just chips. Okay, well be patient. <laughs> Crowded in here. It sure is. <laughs> Are they being moms? Did you know that a fish and chip shop just opened next door? Did you hear that, Roderick? I have to pop over. Oh, you're a cute teacher. I think Indy is looking for somewhere to live. Oh. Mm. You're a good teacher and you're kind of helping integrate all of these different friends together. That's so cool. Do you need protecting? Not right now, thanks. I am vibing with the terriers. I love that they're just like, do you need protecting? Who needs protecting? So funny. And I love their little fort too. It's so good. It reminds me of something that I definitely would have built as a kid. Where I'm just like, who, who, who. Like, a little, little Amber would have been so jazzed and be like, I'm going to go tackle someone. Who needs protecting? And I go out there. I'm like, Ugh. That would have been me with the terrier. <laughs> Calypso, can I please have a no now? Let's have a look. Oh. I made a place for her to sleep. Lovely, but she'll also need a forest for her morning walk. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. You dicky baby. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, you have so many customers. I know. I'm so busy. Hi, Indy. You want to move into my house? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You upstairs room for $10. That looks bucks. so good. But I don't have any dollar bucks. Hmm. Maybe you need a job. Yeah. I could be a waitress for Bluey. Can you mind Polly? Wow. Sure. Bye. Do you want to learn how to build a fence, Polly? <laughs> this is adorable. Here's your cup of tea. Thank you. Are the fish and chips almost ready? Almost, but we're out of fish. <gasps> oh, Indy, here's your dollar box for being my waitress. Thanks, okay. Bluey. Hi, Rusty. Aww. Here's my dollar box for the upstairs room. Okay, I'll just get back to work. Do you want some <laughs> chips, Polly? Do you need protecting yet? Not yet. Okay, when will you need protecting? Would you like some fish and chips, Terriers? Yes, please. Oh, they're Do terriers. Do we have enough to okay. feed our whole army? Okay, the terriers want enough fish and chips to feed an army. Wow, oh. okay. How about these little sacks of chips? Yeah. Oh. One sack, two sacks, three sacks. Mm -hmm. Calypso is an amazing teacher. I love her. She's just, I love that she's checking in with everybody, just kind of going through. I love that she's just kind of twisting string. She's not really braiding. I only see like two pieces of string there, but she's kind of twisting string and then she goes along and checks on everybody. And she's just so flawlessly like integrating everybody to end up playing with one another, kind of taking it at their own speed and like 
respecting what each kid wants to do, but helping them to see kind of how they can work in their play together. It's so fun. You built all of that? This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. The night march is over all the people. <gasps> Uh-oh. Easy, no! You're gonna step on my village. Terriers! <laughs> the village needs <is> protecting. <laughs> yes! Come on, we'll make it! Good That's so freaking cute. Thank goodness for the terriers. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you can sit in my boat if you want. Oh, thanks. I won't take up much room. Oh, oh fisherman. Mm, I can see. If you do catch a fish, let me know. Oh, okay. Aww. Why? Because there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh. I'm gonna cry again. I love this show. I, this is gonna sound really weird to me. I know, I know, because I did like takeaways. But I think this is my favorite episode that didn't have bingo in it or mom and dad. I think it was really well done and it's so cute. And like you could just watch this episode and not take like nothing away from this. But I think this is such a good episode for like like a teacher or like uh, any program manager for um, adolescents, things like that to watch any day camp coordinator, honestly, even camp instructor. Like this is so good for anybody who works with like a larger group of children. I think this episode speaks volumes. Like you could very, very easily like take this episode, dissect it down like and really look into like each child's like play style and how effectively Calypso is able to integrate everybody into playing with one another at their own pace while still encouraging them to do the thing that they wanted to do and very easily and I don't want to use the word manipulate because that sounds bad like it's, it sounds worse, but easily influence the children to end up playing with one another and to have this more community play, um, play group form. Because I remember very much growing up when we get that like recess session or like, you know, like a 15 minute break to like play games or something, especially like very young, very, very young. We break off into groups like we did not play together and I don't know many I, I can't remember any teacher who like really encouraged us during those free times to play with one another granted there was times where like you know a teacher would be like hey don't exclude this one person but like it was usually one group got kind of like uh, it sounds bad but one group was kind of forced to take in the straggler individual and then you know like obviously the three don't want to play with just the one because they wanted to hang out with themselves rightfully so as children but i think calypso did such a good job of like helping them understand that they can all play the way they want to and do the activity they want to but still play together because we have you know one kiddo who wants to like have the little uh, character and then build up this town and Calypso's helping influence them. Like, hey, build the whole town, build this whole town so that way the terriers have something to protect the town. And then, you know, we have the three who want to like play like baby dolls who are like, wow, we don't have a lot of room in this place for all of us to play baby dolls. I guess I have to kind of like move out. And it's like, hey, this one person is making this house because he wants to build. Like you could ask him and it's like, oh, but you don't have money to pay for it. So why don't you go work for Bluey? And then Bluey now has customers to make chips for. So that game continues. Calypso can kind of go on. Calypso ends up talking to the other people, talking to the terriers, 
all of this stuff starts working in and then ultimately end like the quietest, shyest child who's been kind of by themselves is like fishing, quote, quote, fishing, waiting around for fish to bite. And I think it's just this beautiful kind of metaphor on top of it. It's like, Calypso's like, you, you let me know when they start biting, AKA like, you let me know when you're ready to play with the other kiddos, then you can go, you know, deliver your fish and be a part of it. Like she doesn't force him, which I think is beautiful. And none of this was ever forced. It was just her being like, hey, by the way, so-and-so is looking for a house. Maybe you should go talk to Indy. Like it was this really nice, just like, just a suggestion. But it's like, oh, I'm going to go do that then. Everybody's getting what they want out of this play activity. And it was such a beautiful image seeing like almost all the kids now at Bluey shop playing, talking, conversing, like, you know, kind of celebrating with one another. And we still have one kiddo left where it's like, you take your time, like no rush. You will eventually fall into the, the fold. I won't, I will not leave you, you know, having the literal like, oh, thanks for like joining my boat. Thanks for sitting in here. And Clips was like, yeah, like, you know, you're fishing. Like, I know someone who will want that. It was just so well done. And I'm always so surprised when we get like this episode, cause like I can sit here for just like hours, just dissecting every single kid's like idea of playing and just how well done it is. And like seeing so much about their characters from this episode alone. I think it is so cool. And I'm just, I, I'm always just flabbergasted by this show. They do such a good job and it's just so real. And then we just have this exceptional teacher who just masterfully gets all of these, all of her students together to play cohesively which is so incredible. I thought this was going to be like a nap time episode or something. <laughs> so I was blown away by this fact. I think it's so cool. Like I said, I can't even remember a single teacher who like masterfully was able to like get everybody to like work together, be cohesive and like not force them, but help influence them and help them kind of see that we can play together. And it doesn't have to be this separate play. So I think it's really cool. I, like I said, I could gush on and on about this episode. It was so well done. It makes me so happy. And again, I feel like this is like an episode that like should be shown to like educators or anybody who works with like groups of children. Like this was excellently done. And Calypso, amazing teacher. I hope we get more Calypso in the future because I love Calypso. I'm like this is like the first time I'm really like seeing Calypso in like her glory and my goodness killing it <laughs> like if I had children I want my children to go there I don't mind that they're being taught by like a sentient dog I'll take it <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching it's so much fun to watch Bluey again with all of you I always have such a great time <laughs> If you guys like my reactions, make sure to use that little pinky finger to hit that subscribe button. That way you know you're super awesome and I'll see you all later.